Welcome back to Spurred On, I'm Barnaby Slater. This is part three of Tottenham Transfer Talk. I'm still here with Tom Edwards from The Telegraph. Hello. Doing a great job, Tom, never in doubt. Okay, so in this part three, we're gonna talk about other things. So not transfers coming in, not transfers going out, but the other things that have happened in the papers or been talked about in the papers and Spurs this week. Firstly, there was the CIES study, the most valuable players in the world list, and the fact that three Spurs players got into it. Harry Kane, 15th, is rated as higher in value than Gareth Bale. He is worth 40 to 44 million pounds. That was satisfying, wasn't it? Really satisfying. That's what happens when you leave Spurs, Gareth. Yeah, and I looked down the list and he is the only one in the top, definitely 25, 30, who is under the age of 21. He's 21 and everyone else is 23 or over. So it's pretty amazing from Harry Kane. Uh, Christian Eriksen, 23rd on the list. He is worth 30 to 33 million pounds. Yeah, great. I mean, uh, yeah. We're not getting rid of him, but that's what he's worth. What a yes. player. Basically, that means, in my opinion, he's the 23rd best player in the world, and he's a Spurs player. I love that. And what a surprise, your favourite player and mine, that went the wrong way, but your favourite player and mine, Nabil Bentaleb, comes in 84th, 23 to £26 million pound, uh, pound player. Does that not just show what a young and exciting, and most importantly to Daniel Levy, worthy financially, Play, uh, group of players that we've got at the lane. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, it's great. It's obviously, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't read too much into what what they what they say, but they sound fairly, fairly realistic. Yeah. Don't they? I, I don't think any of them seem like complete yeah. pines. And, and I personally think that these are like uh, uh, values that maybe foreign clubs would try and pay. But realistically, if any English clubs came in, you can almost add another third on top. Can indeed, yeah. So uh, um, Levy just at home going like this. He hasn't even got a fire on. He's just rubbing his hands with glee. Classic Levy. The second thing we're going to talk about is uh, another list. Spurs were voted as, oh, not voted. Uh, it was a study, a financial study, the 10th most valuable brand in all of football. Yes. What does yeah. that say about our club? Well, Tom? it says that we're very good at monetizing our name. And like the study was, I, I, did, I did this piece up for the Telegraph, and the, the study was about how the clubs monetize their own brands. So Barcelona, for example, had the strongest brand in world football, mm -hmm. but they were nowhere near the top. They were, they was, I think they were sixth or something. And it's because they, they were not judged by this, this company to, mm -hmm. to be monetizing their brand effectively. Whereas Man United did very, very well. Um, they were the first billion dollar brand because they're very good at, 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 at making the name pay. Okay. Uh, so that just shows that the business side of Tottenham is, is doing very well because we're clearly not the 10th best footballing team Yet. So, yet, yeah. <laughs> but um, so it shows that off the field, we're run, the, it's being very, run very well as a business. So, should we, for a very rare, on a very rare occasion, give a round of applause to Daniel Levy? He's doing a great job. Shall we do it? Shall we? Well done, Daniel. You keep doing that. That was part three of Tottenham Transfer Talk and the end of Triple T, as I like to call it, this week. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Tom, I'll see you next week. Thanks. Yes. Good man. See you next time. Hello. We are going to discuss potential outgoings from the club, from the stories that have been in and around the papers this week. So we're going to start 